Hello and welcome to some week 13 Mazda here at Sakuba. We've got ourselves an old Major's Garage Baseline Plus setup. The uh, free setup in here. Uh, we got the number four. <laughs> and we got pings galore here today. Um, people absolutely all over the world. Finland, Central Eastern Europe, Australia, UK, and Ireland. Iberia if he shows up. Japan. And uh, the far-off country of California. So. I'm <laughs> going to have to watch out um, for anyone that's uh, nearby. That code might not be in our favor today. And I'm going to need to watch out for myself, too, because... I don't know if it's because this setup's old, and maybe something changed, or it's just one of those setups. But wow, it feels weird. Wow, it feels weird. <laughs> it, uh, especially under braking, it gets so crazy unsettled. I kind of figured out that in order to, uh, kind of help this thing, you have to drive like a maniac. Like, just absolutely floor it out of the corners and drive in hard. And it kind of actually helps prevent some of the unstableness, I feel. But gee whiz! It is kind of crazy, actually. Green flag, green flag. I mean, look at it. It's spinning. It's spinning. Oh my god. Okay. I can't do that during the race. I cannot do that during the race. I need to not do that during the race. That is crazy. So this time, I'm going to hurry back out again. Sorry to waste your time, but I'm telling you, this thing is absolutely untamed <laughs> now it's especially so on the cold tires it gets more stable but it's not perfect either it's like when i get on brakes like right here it's heading to this corner it like tries to pull to the right weirdly enough and that's not the direction i'm going so that's not too helpful it is fast though because it does turn just a little bit when you don't want it to. Like, look at that. It pulled to the left. I didn't turn left there. It pulled to the left under braking. I don't know. If I knew anything about setups, I would maybe try to change some things, but I don't know diddly squat, so we're going with it. And I've been working hard just to try to keep this thing under control. Green, green, and green. I obviously failed to do so in the run up to the line last lap. Okay, here comes your third time. <sighs> try to get get it together here it just feels like I cannot do anything it's, it's hard to describe and it's weird because this the times when you would most expect it to be unsettled like when you get on the gas hard that's the time, th those are the times where it's most stable. And that's why I, I'm saying, like, it feels like you have to drive like a maniac <laughs> to make this thing work. Because you have to, like, full throttle it out of the corner, like, no ease onto the gas or anything, in order for it not to feel like it's spinning out every direction. I don't know. I just don't know, but, uh,. I, I tested it out against like the baseline setup and it's still faster. And unfortunately it's just like I got used to this thing the way it is right now. While practicing, so if switching now I'm just gonna be worse, I think. So we're just gonna try to rein it in. And I think if uh, if I can survive the cold tire phase then I should be able to survive the rest of the race. Especially because cold tire phase is, you know, off the start when we're around everybody. So, I'm a little nervous about this one, but... Let's see what we can do. Um, speaking of seeing what we can do, what we have right now, we got a slightly better lap. So far, qualified P3 is the number four.
<laughs> Get a better uh, final corner as well. 1037. That's going to keep us in third for now. Not too far off, the fastest guys. Shunya and Serjan, I guess. Apologies, I probably am not getting their names correct. I am but a mere Midwesterner. <laughs> not exposed to too many. Too much diversity, unfortunately, where I live. But. Got uh, Yamaguchi behind us. Then Rodney in fifth. 18 was a great one there for P2. Not too many people signed up. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Since usually rookie Mazdas have a ton of people signed up. But it wasn't too crazy. James Goddard, that is a familiar name. I believe I just did a race against him recently. He was... Yes, um, I did rookie Mazda at the start of the week at Laguna Seca. And I did two races there, and then the second race, he was in it. First race I did, I had a race against... I believe his name was Shuichi. Was it Shuichi? I don't remember, but um, I had a really good race against a guy. Um, I lost my sound on the last lap, and then we had a drag race to the line, and I missed my upshift because I couldn't hear, <laughs> and uh, he beat me in the drag race to the line. It would have been real close, but that was kind of disappointing. I didn't upload or record those races because I'd literally just done models at Laguna Seca. So I'm like, yeah, even though it's an open setup, I don't want to do another one of these right after I... So, didn't bother recording it, but I had a great race there. And then the second race is the one where I uh, I saw the number 10 here. And uh, it was uh, three guys that were just super fast from Iberia. I don't know if they knew each other or something, but it seemed like they were like... The way they were swerving around on track, like, uh, I don't know. It just kind of gave me the impression like they were a group of friends or something. But they all were super fast, qualified in the top three, and I kind of just leached off their draft <laughs> and uh, finished behind all three of them. I tried to catch up. I almost kind of got alongside, but couldn't quite do it. And uh, that was a good competitive race. And uh, the number 10 here, James, was the guy finishing behind me. Uh, he was not able to keep on to the draft, though. So, that's uh, how I know him. And uh, we got five seconds before we get into this thing. So I'm ready. I'm ready to hopefully not spin out, but we'll that's see about that. Pretty nervous. It feels like, um, under braking, it feels like there is no brake bias in this thing, but it feels like the brake bias is at like at 20% or something. <laughs> I'm not lying, am I? No, there's no brake bias in here, so. <laughs> Got enough fuel in here. Might have been able to reduce it a little bit more, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, what do I want? We'll do all-time optimal, sure. I'm way off of that. I must have had a better setup or something at some point, because I'm not even close to my... All-time optimal. Not to mention, I'm sure I had draft when I got that. But we'll see what we can do here. Uh, hopefully I'm not the only one that feels completely out of control on the cold tires. And hopefully I don't make a mess. Goal of the race, don't make a mess. <laughs> don't make a mess. So... P3. I'll fight pretty good, considering I felt like I was not in control of the darn thing the whole time. Just barely off of the 18 there, and uh, the number one is a couple tenths on us. So like I said, this thing's, the setup is fast, but good lord. It's not going to be very fast if I'm backwards and upside down. So, <laughs> I'll do my best. Just a 10 minute race here. That'll equate to just under 10 laps, I believe. So, oh. 
Don't overdrive very laps. Don't overdrive in general. But definitely don't Minutes. overdrive very laps. So we're going for here. 82 Fahrenheit. All right, Colton, get ready. Go. Green, green, green. Ten minutes to go. Five a great to start go. behind us. He really launched. Right side. Clear on the right. Right side. Stay on the left. Just taking Clear. it easy. Kind of staying on the outside. Oh my god, he's really parking it. Wow. Okay. We're good though. <laughs> Felt like they really parked it there, but we figured it out. We're fine. Okay, I'm not the only one a little out of control, I think. 18 looks like he's struggling to gather it up too. Oh my god. Tried to turn left. I'm telling you, it's weird. It's being weird. Uh, he's following the draft of the leader, I suppose. You go ahead and do that. Oh my god, it wants to spin so bad. Never, I don't know if I've ever been in a car that wanted to spin so bad. Maybe this, maybe that one race I had, I don't know if I recorded that race actually. I had a B open race where my right rear tire just completely died. I think it was at Old Atlanta. If I remember correctly, that was one of the loosest cars I've ever driven. One of the most, like, oversteery, wobbly cars. This is pretty darn close, though. So, lost a little bit of time, that's okay. Just surviving at the moment. 18 goes a little wide. Figures it out. Okay. Each lap, the car's gonna feel a little bit, a little bit more stable, a little bit better. Just gotta remember that. And we got some space in front and behind. Makes me feel a little more comfortable. I feel like I'm turning left and right in the corners. It's kind of funny. Sorry about that. Driving hard there. Like I was saying, it's like you have to drive real hard. And it's somehow more stable when you do. I'm sure there's a good reason, a good scientific reason why that is the case. But it's certainly counterintuitive. It's like, oh, you're feeling uncomfortable and unstable? Drive harder. <laughs> That'll solve it. That's definitely, uh, definitely feels counterintuitive. <laughs> I'd be lying if it wasn't fun to drive, though. Mazas are always fun to drive for me, but it is a, it is a fun challenge trying to uh, control this thing. This wild beast. <laughs> I want to know who got this all-time optimal lap. It surely wasn't me, right? Like, I'm already second off. It's like the second corner. Alright, put the desk back in position as it's sliding around on my hardwood floor. Let's put session optimal up since I don't know who's lap I'm comparing to, since it's not mine, I, think, I guess. Three, three, five. That freaking Lewis Hamilton stealing my iRacing account. 
doing laps or something. We're keeping up all right with P2. Happy with that. Again, 18, great speed, great showing from him so far. Five minutes to go. This is good. We'll be on the podium if we can keep it together. Okay, Colton, you're halfway. But we're gonna try to play spoiler. Take his silver medal away. Try to keep moving forward. Imagine we're about halfway through the race already. I would not say the car feels stable now, but I would say it's less deadly as it, than it was before. Which is nice. Very nice. Who knows if the one is even pushing or if he is just having a nice drive up there. But we might be reeling in this 18 just a tiny bit. Got up pretty close to him there. Not many laps left. These are quick races. Quite there on him, so I'm not gonna make a move or anything. He enters kind of shallow. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to point this car in the direction you want. Lost a ton of time there. Just worried about not running into the back of him too, though. I just feel like there's so much speed in this thing. Stay close. There might be a chance here. I just don't have the talent to completely harness it, to be honest. Oh, it's trying to get sideways. That is a popular scheme, by the way, that Planet Express Mazda scheme. I've seen so many people with that scheme, and it's a good one. I love Futurama, but holy cow, it's seen a lot. I say holy cow too much, I'm sorry. Alright, let's see if we can not lose all the progress we made immediately again. Turn one. Hey Christian, I will not move until you tell me when. Don't worry mate, I'll just see if it's like left two minutes Whew. all right on for the most part can we get a nose on him somewhere Gave him room. All right. Boy, it feels fulfilling to actually make a pass when this thing is hard enough to drive on my own. That is satisfying. He gave room there. Very professional driving out of him. So I appreciate that. Now let's see if we can get away at all. We've pulled it out to uh, 0.7 already. And I believe we might be coming to the final lap. White flag, one more lap to go. Oh, 
Not a good corner. This is so hard to control. You're in second position right now, looking good for a podium. P2, sector 1 is 0.7 off the pace. Sector 2 is 0.37 off the pace. Sector Looks like you drove in hard to turn 1 there. This is far from my uh, guaranteed spot uh, until he spun it, that is. No, 18. I'm rooting for you, man. I hope you got back on track all right. I'm rooting for him. He's uh, having a great race. Looks like he's back in fourth there. Good to see he was able to get it righted. Oh, my lordy. <laughs> yeah. Really, man? It's like driving a car with cold tires the entire race. Three is kind of reaching us. I don't know where he started, but he... Uh, has nearly caught us. But he's got no more time because we have crossed the line. Good win, number one. Good race, guys. Well done, Colton. Alright. P2! I'll take it. Especially as the number four. That was a fun race. That was fun fighting this car. That was pretty darn good. I liked that. Assuming the 18 uh, finished fourth in the end. Shout out to him for a great run. He did a great job side by side when we got up to him and gave room. Very cool. Yes, P4. Awesome. Well done, man. That's the 18. All right, so runner up, the one we had really nothing for. Maybe if I qualify behind him, maybe I can stay in the draft. I don't know. That's. A tall order, though, because this thing was crazy. Look how much the rears wore just in that short race. Just because I was spinning them the whole time. I guess the left front was kind of too crazy. I don't really know how to read tire fall off in road. I'm much more familiar with oval, obviously, but we'll go ahead and see what happened out here. Other than a fun race up front. Lap one. Ooh, a rear ending on a guy that kind of just entered really slow. I'm not sure why he, uh, the guy in front, did enter so slow. Probably just backing out because that was a whole mess of cars in a small space. That looks like he's dealing with the pull to the right. That's what I was talking about. Like, you hit the brakes and it yanks to the right. It's crazy. So I guess it's not just me. He stayed on the brakes a long time, though. Like, uh, kind of gets it righted. I think he probably doesn't have to be on the brakes anymore, but he stays there, and that's how yeah, that guy ends up catching him so quick. Whoa, well, maybe a missed breaking point there. He flies into the corner. Hopefully no one gets taken out. But we got some bent metal. That's quite the angle to enter that corner. And quite the dive bomb. He breaks really late. And uh, runs into the 13. He just absolutely bullies his way there. <laughs> very low entry. Very not earned positioning. But still, no one got sideways, at least, I guess. Whoa. Eight enters really hard. Everyone's a little unsettled. Get sorted out. Where did the uh, three start? So, yeah, they were coming. 16th to 3rd, and they're just running people over to get there, I guess, but, I don't know. I mean, probably qualify if you don't want to deal with that, but, who knows, maybe he tried, got off tracks or something. Oh, man, so, overdrove that corner, and unfortunately someone did get sideways that time. Oof, stack up. Nothing too bad there, though. Oh, no. That's a tough one. So what's going on here? So we get that little interaction. And then the spot is open here as the 8 kind of takes defensive. And then the 8 pinch is so hard there. 
Yeah, you gotta get more room. If you're gonna, you can't like, you gotta pick one. You either gotta say, I'm taking this line, or I'm gonna take a defensive line. And I feel like they are just being wishy-washy about which lane they want to be in. And unfortunately, cars come together there, and that is a rough corner to hit. It's a couple torn up race cars. That stinks. Coming to new, uh, near the end of this thing, we just got a blink right there. Got rear endings going on. This guy's car is straight out of middle school. Ouch. Just, wow, okay. Uh, this guy gets kind of wide there, but this guy just does not even give him the room. Just runs him over. That's rough on the last lap. All that racing to come down to that. But uh, that looks like all we will see. So another quick race here. Another week 13 sprint type race. We were able to negotiate a pass around the 18. It was a fantastic run. Good racing with him. I have never raced with him before, but... Um, Thankfully, none of the uh, worldwide drivers out here. We never had any uh, netcode problems on my end, from my experience. And uh, well, it looks like the couple of guys up front, the three people I really saw this race, not counting the three who was zooming up on us at the end. The three of us were <laughs> three of the, I guess, six with a 0x, so... I guess it paid to qualify well and stay out of, in front of all that and uh, got ourselves a runner-up. So that was fun. Uh, survived. Is it a crazy setup? And uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.